So today we're gonna to be talking about following our fears. And I know from our classrooms and the letters we get that this is one of the things that hold back all of us. And mostly because we just happen to be emotional creatures and we work ourselves up and then, you know, we don't wanna put ourselves in a, in, a, in a bad spot. And so we allow these things to get the best of us. Yeah, definitely. So the first thing that you wanna do is recognize that fear. So we all have that thing that keeps popping up. Maybe it's a trip you wanna take, maybe it's a change in careers, starting a new business, but finding that thing that keeps popping up that you end up rationalizing away. And being able to find it allows us to then deal with it directly so we can work through it. So how you can do that is when this thing keeps popping up, a thing that you find you keep saying no to and then it comes back up again, instead of saying no to it, say, why not? Why can I do this thing? And you will usually find that there's not really many reasons why you can't other than yourself telling you that you can't do it. So the second point is to be brave, mm -hmm. to just run towards that fear with all you have. Yeah, because the, the best thing about that is when you throw yourself into that fear, you're gonna gain experience. And those experience points transfer to confidence points. And no one can take those away from you. So lean into those fears, learn everything you can about them. Now you know what you wanna do, so research it. Talk to people about it, say it out loud that you're going to do this thing. It makes it tangible and real and it makes you more excited to go towards it. Our third point is to start today, make a plan. It's so easy to just say like, okay, I know what I'm gonna do now, that's cool, and um, I'll start tomorrow. I'll start next month once this happens or this happens. Yeah, we're gonna put hurdles in front of these fears because procrastination and fear go together. It's how a lot of us handle fear. So start today, get the wheels in motion. Um, speaking from personal experience, I always wanted to make video sketches and I didn't know how to shoot anything. I didn't know how to edit anything or do sound and for the longest time I told myself I couldn't do it because I didn't have the money to hire people to do all of this stuff. But eventually my need to do it became greater and I taught myself how to edit. I taught myself how to do sound. I asked friends who had those skill sets to let me observe them and then I was able to do it myself. Yeah, you're gonna have to allow yourself to make mistakes. You have to be okay with failing. Everyone fails when they first get started. Some of my very first times on stage were obviously the worst. My leg would shake so bad I didn't know if I would be able to finish a performance. But the thing is I loved music so much that I didn't mind continuing that process until I slowly finally started getting better. Yeah, and the more that you do it, the more you will make mistakes here and there, but then you'll get better and mm -hmm. better and hone this craft that you want to pursue. Another way to get through those fears, uh, if you're you're like, I'm not ready to completely commit to moving forward with the fears, is starting to journal. Yes. Journaling is such a perfect way to get your thoughts and uh, feelings down on paper and start to manifest them coming into fruition. Yeah, I mean, the only way you're able to, go, to measure the progress of going through and making these mistakes is being able to see them spread out over time. And so if you write in your journal, um, your thoughts and feelings about it, two things that you felt you could do better with, and two things that you felt rather well with, that'll give you the strength to continue on and see your progression. We'll see you guys next time.